On today's video, we make our own paint booth out of simple things you can find in your garage. Stay tuned. Welcome back and or to the channel. Today, we need to start setting up to be able to do the painting project that we have lined up. And what we're gonna do is make a very simple paint booth. Now you can do this on a simple things found in your garage. All you have to do is be able to make a decent cavity to fit all the stuff into that you need that will control where that overspray goes. And it's a very simple process that anyone can do with just simple stuff. I've got two options of how I can do this. I can either tape this off up over the top of my garage door rail, or I can use my grill with a table. Now, I'm not quite sure how I'm going to do this setup yet, but I'm going to see kind of what happens when I get this all pulled away and what direction I'm going to go with it. The only other thing you're going to need is some plastic to lay up over the top or to cover the area that you need so that you're not getting overspray everywhere. But let's go ahead and get this set up and then we'll be able to explain what we're doing a little bit more in detail. One thing that we're going to do is I need to break up a couple of videos here. So what I plan on doing is showing you how I'm gonna set up the paint booth and the next video is gonna be prepping those parts. What we have to do to get them ready for painting and the video to follow after that is going to be the painting project itself. Now I may do these all in the same week. If you hear the heater on, it's because we need to keep it at a certain temp in order for those parts to stay, uh, stay good when we're painting them. They have to be at a certain temp, they have to remain at a certain temp. So let's go ahead and get this set up. set up this paint booth and it all depends on what I want to do. What I could do is just set up this and a table, drape the plastic over everything and slide the parts underneath and then I'll just go underneath to paint it. Or I can hang it from my setup here and just let the plastic drape down and seal off this part as a paint booth. Either one would work. I'm still kind of tossed up on how I want to do it. What I might do is just use what I have available to me now. I don't have a lot to paint, so I don't have to get too carried away with trying to make everything perfect. trying to make a makeshift paint booth, you don't have to get too carried away. You can just simply make something that'll keep that overspray from going up in the air. Because what happens is when you hit that aerosol can, it fans out. And when it fans out, it goes everywhere. So this is just designed to trap it into an area where it can't get out. I'll bring you around here so you can see how I'm going to set this up. And like I said, this is just a temporary, I do have a vehicle that gets parked in here every night, so I can't build a permanent paint booth inside this small space. And you may have that same problem at home. You might go, I have enough room to park two vehicles, but then I don't have enough room to build additional shop space. And as we keep going with projects and I need to build stuff to work for me in this space, 
I'll show you creative ways that you can build something that is temporary that you can take down or in a way that you can move it around in the shop to where it's not going to be a permanent fixture and constantly in your way. Certain items will stay where you need them to, such as my toolbox or the cabinet that would be behind you, but that's all part of this process. It's just kind of seeing how your garage will work best for you for what you're doing. Hopefully I can give you some creative ideas. Other times, maybe you guys will leave some comments down below on something I can do that would be creative that would help me out. Let me get this set up and then we can start prepping our parts. What you see me doing here is just basically unwinding enough material that I can drape this and use it as my temporary paint glue. plastic is cut this will be our ceiling barrier to the outside and what we're going to do is extend this plastic out back in the box so I don't need it out anymore. Need some heavy weight for the table. And again, your box of plastic will work just fine. So now, what I've accomplished is I've created a cavity here. This cavity will work that when I'm spraying the parts, I can put them underneath here, I can spray in this direction towards this wall, that overspray that kicks up will not wind up back here on my vehicle. And if I want a little more protection, all I gotta do is pull this over far enough that this goes across the ground, and then leave the other side hanging to where it's not going to get much overspray going out.
So we'll take a quick little walk around. Like I said, this is just a makeshift little paint booth. What you're trying to do is keep overspray from going everywhere in your garage. If you have something that has a nice paint job on it, you want to try to do something to try to keep the overspray off the vehicle. It takes a lot of time to be able to clean stuff off of vehicles. When you're using a primer, you may have issues where that primer will stick to the paint to where you can't get it off without doing a very serious buffing on the vehicle. And again, if you've already buffed the vehicle, you may not have very many times you can do a very hard buff. Then that puts you in a position where you have to wet sand or maybe even redo the clear coat on it after you've cleaned off that primer. That is a very time consuming and very expensive process. So we're trying to eliminate that as much as possible. Now we know that we're doing it in a garage. And we know it's a temporary process. So it's okay to set up something makeshift that will work for what you're doing. So now that the paint booth is set up, our goal here is to get this ready for when we do the paint. And we want to try to get this all put together so that we know that it'll work and flow properly. We want to make sure we're not getting overspray all over everything. So we want to run that sample and make sure that we have everything kind of set up where it needs to be. But I think that's going to do it for this video. So I'd like to say thank you for watching. Please hit that like button, smash that subscribe button, and I'll see you on the next one.